We are here, as uh, His Excellency the Governor has said, just to ensure that we pay our respect to uh, His Royal Majesty, the Army of Latvia. Uh, and this is important uh, for us because, just as I've said, he is one that we hold in very high esteem. And we're happy that he is here at a time like this, at a time of great progress in Nassau State, at a time when, despite the economic challenges, Nassau State is marching on, and marching on with such vigor. Your Royal Majesty, we're here to do a number of things, as the governor has said. And one of the important things is the infectious which will be commissioning. Uh, since the COVID-19 pandemic, we have realized the importance of uh, health care. And there is no again saying the fact that we need more sophisticated distributions, better equipped uh, medical facilities. We just need more and more. So we're very excited about what uh, the governor has done. This infectious disease hospital, which is why I uh, not only accepted to be here, but uh, uh, His Excellency the President was also very excited about the fact that this is taking place here. Nasserol Estate. So we are, this is a very auspicious occasion. And we are certainly looking forward to that event. Our country is in a period of great challenges because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the economy and also aspects of security. But this is a time of great opportunity. It is a time of great opportunity. Everywhere we look, the potentials are there, and we can be sure and reap these potentials. Mr. President has said that, talking about security, he has said that every time we look at what we do differently, we cannot sit still. The world is changing, and just as he said, we have to keep looking. We have to keep looking at what's How better to handle every situation that we find ourselves in. Same as the economy, we have great potential in agriculture, we have great potential in industry. And if you look at our current finance period, one of the things that we're trying to do is to make sure that people are better able to do business, which is why we're lowering taxes, lowering duties, making sure that it is cheaper for people to do business. Even transportation, lowering the levels of vehicles, buses, so that we can see easier for people to transport themselves and find them out. I think that what this period has shown us is that we can do so much for ourselves as a nation. And we're looking forward not just to uh, the coming month where we will implement the new budget, but also implement some of the new ideas that have been brought to bear in industry, new ideas in uh, manufacturing, and some of the new ideas, you know, even uh, in, 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 in our security architecture. I think that we are in a very good place. And uh, I believe very strongly that our country is poised for greatness. We must never be discouraged. We must never allow ourselves to be dragged down by those who say that this country will not work. This country will work. It will certainly work. I have to pretend that it work. Sometimes, sometimes we look at, sometimes, you know, especially those of us who, you know, who have a hope of who is struggling to leave the world of God. We know that sometimes at night, it looks as if everything is dark. But the morning comes very soon after the night. And I believe very strongly that our country is about to come into its glorious dawn, into a time of greatness. And that is where we are experiencing some teething problems now. But very soon, we can be sure that we are going to greatness. And 
I believe very strongly that under the leadership of the President, President Muhammad Buhari, and all of the, his good intention as a person, and his great thoughts for our people, we will certainly do very well. I'd like to thank you very much, uh, Your Honor Majesty, for your hospitality and kindness all the time. And to also thank uh, my brother, the President and the good people of Nasarawa State. Just as I've uh, as been said, this is my fourth time, maybe not my fifth, I'm not even sure now, <laughs> of coming to Nasarawa State. But it's always a pleasure to be here. This is home for me. Continually bless the good people of this state. We will make progress, and under your under your leadership, uh, your kingdom will prosper. Many, many, many more innovations, many more great things happen under your leadership.